Well, well, well. Apparently today is the day that we get updated on the Switch's sales numbers and the software sales numbers at least through June 30th. Now, we thought we were going to get an update back in June because they had a meeting towards the end of the month, at least an update on what the Switch numbers were to date. But now we know. Now we know at least what they are up until July. So there are no sales numbers included in this data from Nintendo uh, for the past month. But, I mean, that that's okay. That's expected. So here is where the Switch stands as of June 30th. Worldwide, it has sold 4.7 million units. Obviously, if you include this month, it's probably over 5 at this point, especially with the release of Splatoon 2. But yeah, 4.7 million units. That That is the lifetime to date sales. To put that in perspective, at the same point for the Wii U, it sold like 3.45 million units. And the thing is, 10 months after the Wii U came out, it still hadn't broke 4 million units. And now we're looking at the Switch has probably broken 5 million units by now. That's just insane. Um, also, with this sales data, we get updates on game sales. So it's probably no surprise that the number one selling game for Nintendo Switch is still Breath of the Wild, which sold 3.92 million units on Nintendo Switch, which is great. That's already more than some other Zelda games. And if these sales keep up, by the end of the year, this could end up being one of the best selling Zelda games of all time just on the Switch, not counting Wii U sales. Uh, the next best-selling game is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at 3.54 million units. I mean, this is a, a re-release, uh, a remastering of sorts of a Wii U game. And it, it almost tied Breath of the Wild. That Just crazy. Uh, ARMS, which just released last month, has already sold 1.18 million units. And that is a brand new IP on a console that only has 4.7 million. That That's an insane attach rate of ARMS to the amount of Switches out there. That is very, very good news for ARMS as a new IP and as a potential of becoming a franchise. So it's not a one-off game. It could get sequels in the future, even if it's a once-per-generation game like Smash Bros. and Mario Kart generally are. Uh, and that about does it for the million sellers on Switch. We, you, Nintendo's only given us the million sellers here. Uh, and they're obviously only talking about their games. They're not talking about third-party games and what those sales might be. It's up to those companies to discuss those sales. Uh, what's also really neat about this is we have something really cool. Uh, Media Create, they always post a week-to-week -week sales in Japan. And normally I don't talk about them because, you know, there's nothing extremely notable. But this... This week is especially notable, at least this new report from Media Create, because this is the launch week of Splatoon 2. So, Splatoon 2 in Japan, launch week, sold 648,000 units. To put that in perspective, the number two title on their list, which is also a new game for 3DS, Layton's Mystery Journey, uh, by level five, brand new. Number two, 70,867. So that's an insane amount. Splatoon 2 is well on its way to topping a million, maybe even two million units in Japan. Just Japan. And to show you how big this impact was on the Switch itself, last week the Switch sold about 32,000 units. This week it sold about 99,000 units. And it probably could have sold more, but, you know, we all know the Switch is supply constraints so it is what it is um and lifetime to date nintendo switch has sold 1,196,986 units just in japan so of that 4.7 million unit we know that 1.2 million of that is japan and obviously this is insane this is really really good numbers uh the switch is doing really well really well that that's what the big takeaway from these numbers are uh also in general the Nintendo Switch has sold 13.6 million units of software with 4.7 million hardware. You know, that gives it almost a 3 to 1 attach rate of software to hardware, which means every Switch owner essentially has at least three games, or at least on average there are three games each Switch owner owns, which 
if I had to guess, <laughs> Mario Kart, Zelda, and ARMS, or Mario Kart, Zelda, and some other, you know, other game, an indie game, or whatever the case may be. I don't know if indie game sales are counted in this, or if it's just... Uh, these are just physical sales. I have no idea. I don't know how Nintendo counts their units. Uh, and it's important to note that this is just an update for Q1, right? Because this includes, obviously, this is lifetime to date sales. So this obviously includes launch month, which was Q4 of last co of last uh, fiscal year. But yeah, this is really, really good. So essentially, the Switch from March has sold 2 million more units uh, overall. Now that might seem like a small amount because launch month, you know, Hey, they sold 2.74 million in March, but they only sold 2 million cents, man, the switch momentum's dying, but that's not really what's happening. Uh, Nintendo just can't make enough of these dang things. They have production ramped up at, to the max and they just cannot meet demand. You think, uh, they only wanted a hundred thousand units available in Japan when they sold 600,000 plus copies of of Splatoon 2? No. If they had it their way, they probably want, you know, 500,000 Switches available in Japan for launch week of Splatoon because they probably would have sold every single one of them. But it is, it, it's what it is. Uh, what, to give you an idea, uh, just for the quarter sales, uh, Switch hardware sold 1.97 million in this first quarter of this current fiscal year, and Switch software have sold 8.14 million for this fiscal quarter. Again, kind of maintaining that momentum, you know, that that three to one game ratio. Uh, also, as a note, obviously 3DS is still kind of a thing. Uh, the 3DS hardware sold 950k for this quarter, and 5.85 million. Uh, units of software for the quarter again a really nice attach rate you know six to one that's that's great stuff uh also their smart device and ip related income for the quarter was nine thousand and sixty two million yen J just a, a lot of money um nintendo's earning share from pokemon go is uh three thousand two hundred and eighty six million uh nintendo made 81 million dollars from smartphone games that are not pokemon go uh, and Nintendo made two twenty nine point four million from Pokemon Go. So overall, they made over they made about one hundred and ten million dollars. Uh, this is in USD off of smartphone stuff. That's really really good. Yeah, th there isn't really much more to say than that. I mean, I'm just looking at the official press release, and uh, you know it says there were a few type of amiibo compared to the same period last year. A few new titles offered Amiibo functionality. Amiibo sales were approximately 1.6 million units for figure type and 1.3 million units for card type in our digital business sales. Digital versions of packaged software downloaded content on Nintendo Switch showed steady growth with total digital sales of 11 billion yen, which is a 41% increase year on year. Um, yeah, it. I'm, I'm just glancing at the rest of this. Uh, you know, in addition, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the Super NES Classic Edition, is a compact recreation of the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, which launched in 1990, and it features a collection of 21 titles from a rich library. We plan to launch this system globally in September and October. Blah, 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 blah. There are no revisions to the financial forecast for this period, originally published on April 27, 2017. And the big takeaway from that is that Nintendo predicted that they would sell uh you know 10 million switches in this fiscal year now selling you know just under 2 million in the first quarter might seem like a bit of a bummer but we still have the holiday period coming that's usually has higher sales than normal plus they're still selling over every unit there's no doubt in my mind that if they had 2.5 million switches available worldwide they would have sold 2.5 million switches so again you know a lot of this is going to come down to can nintendo stop supply constraining themselves but yeah this is all really good news uh, you know, but again, this is just my take. Let me know what you think. And I'll put links to all the results down in the description. So if you want to dissect even further into the details, be my guest. Uh, but I went through all, what I feel is all the relevant information. I mean, if you want to know, I, I guess I didn't talk about this, the lifetime sales total for the 3DS are, uh, 67.08 million units with software at 335.10 million units. Just really insane stuff. Uh, if you want to know for the Wii U, Wii U hardware is obviously done. 13.56 million units. That is it. That number will never go higher than that. Uh, but the Wii U software is at 99.97 million units. Again, a pretty good attach right there. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's Nintendo's doing pretty good, man. 
they're doing really good right now. The Switch is, is selling like hotcakes. The 3DS is still moving, you know, almost a million units per quarter. I know that's not, you know, as much as you would like, but again, you know, they're, they're, look at the amount of software they're moving in compared. 5.85 million for only a million units sold. That's insane. Uh, Nintendo's doing really well right now. Switch is doing really well. I'm hoping that it continues the momentum. Nintendo can catch up to demand and we can see them hit that 10 million goal that they had, which would put the system at about 13 million units around the end of the fiscal year. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Good job, Nintendo. You have hit a home run in my opinion. And as always, I am Nathaniel Ruffeljance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. If you dislike that video, hit the dislike button. Subscribe for more. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much. You are what makes this channel possible. And hey, if you care to support us um, you know, in a financial way, you can check us out at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. Uh, the biggest thing we're trying to you know, support there is our podcast. But obviously, once we move beyond our podcast goals, we have other really ambitious video ideas we would like to get to uh, down the line that we need your support to make happen. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one.